everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from round three of Space Jam LA. My co-host today and this weekend is... Ryan Staniszewski. The one and only. Mm -hmm. Super excited today. I want to thank everybody who's joining us for this premier level X-Wing event. This is the third uh, of four Space Jam events that we're holding passing out the belts of power <laughs> for yep. space jam so uh if you guys have been following the series round uh the first event was won by william hagwood our very own william hagwood um the chicago event the second one was won by timo lars out of germany and today we have uh, another champion going to be crowned at the end what what do we call the because like there's got to be a nickname for him because i feel like chicago was battle of the beards what was rome well i mean it was ali versus timo right i feel that, that has to have been like a final table before has to have been i'd say duel of the fates and they call it duel of the fates <laughs> they're both champs they're both champs that's true mm-hmm very very true so this one will be the, uh, the the silo survivor. So we have a definite interesting set of squadrons here. Yeah, let's go ahead and break uh, those down. We have probably one of the fattest scurries you can make uh, with outmaneuver, advanced sensors, Barago title, which increases shield value by one and gains another modification slot, which both mods are being used, one for stealth device and one for shield upgrade. Um, I'd actually be curious to see if he ever uses the Virago ability. The, the, um, uh, the red boost at the end of the turn? It can deny blocks. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, that's the thing. Um, and then we have, I believe, the exact same Dengar next to that Guri that just won Rome as we talked about that. The Proton Torpedo, Auto Blaster, L3, Han Solo, Contraband Cybernex, and Marksmanship for a two ship list with a 10 point bid. Whew. And then on the other side, we have um, from Florida himself, Mr. Florida Man Steve Sesnick running a double Phantom and Palp shuttle. Uh, Emperor Palpatine on normal ground group, group pilot. We have an Echo with trick shot and collision detector. Really taking advantage of those uh, obstacles as best as possible for maneuvering and for offense. And then we have a uh, mostly standard whisper. If you're talking in the in the shuttle variation of lists, it's you got fifth brother, passive sensors, stealth device. Uh, this time investing in out maneuver the additional points that were available from keeping Echo moderately cheap. Um, the Guri player does have the bid, which means uh, because there's no I-6s across the board, that dangerous uh, advanced sensors Guri is going to be moving after seeing the entire opposing list. Yeah, I like this uh, this setup by Andreas. He's starting in this bottom left-hand corner and basically splitting off and asking, what do you want, like, where do you want those phantoms to face? Do you want Guri to have the, the flank so that she can continue to ace you guys with that advanced sensors movement with that funky barrel roll? Um, or are you going to joust Dengar? And one of the things I think that would be really interesting is to see if Steven can kind of bait the torpedoes out of Dengar into the shuttle um, and uh, and just go from there like I you don't want either of those phantoms to eat a eat a proton torpedo if you can help it nope not at all because when it's in the uh, in the attack phase they have two agility yes minus whisper who does have three uh, because everything is gas clouds, though, we could see some definite uh, advantages that Steven has to try and take with those gas clouds. Uh, not saying to fly right in them, but to get in a spot to where it makes Dengar have to make the, d the decision more difficult. And uh, as much as you want to try and bait Guri, I, I've been seeing from, from when this matchup got put in front of us before we started the stream, I was trying to think man if i was in steven's situation what does it make sense to just 
gun, and I mean gun for Dengar as fast as possible. As, mm -hmm. as soon as he sees an opening to where maybe Guri can't... It, it, Guri can choose when to have shots and when to not pretty easily in this situation, but finding a angle and a space on the board that says, okay, I can pounce on Dengar and I will maybe not take as crazy or dangerous of damage from Guri if I go for Dengar. Agreed. We're having that shuttle bank into the middle, just ready to engage with the phantoms. I think that's really important. Uh, you find yeah. that some players end up waiting too long to commit that shuttle when it has a perfectly good three dice gun uh, available to it. Not to mention that rear arc, which can be really useful as well. Yep. Uh, I could... This 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 shuttle is going to be a coordinating machine. I mean, I know it normally is, but Whisper's going to Whisper and Echo are going to need all the actions they can to get to take care and try and mitigate the damage incoming from Dengar. And let's go ahead and talk and, uh, talk about the fact that Andreas did uh, put a little bit of insurance out there by target locking that gas cloud on the uh, the top left of your screen. Uh, the shuttle does have jam, so that's what that is. That's protection from jam, and there's Guri doing the same thing, putting out a target lock over there so that if the, uh, the jam action does happen, they can go ahead and just break the lock rather than having to uh, lose one of those tokens. So, uh, this is a depending on it, if he barrels with Dengar out to the right. This is, I think, kind of a very early commitment on Dengar to make that hard turn. Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, the idea here might be to go go after Whisper, right? So oh she's, yeah, she's lowest. I could ease. I mean, with with the capability of that that coordinate, I wouldn't be surprised if. Whisper decloaks back down the board with Echo. The shuttle one bank or two banks in, and then coordinates Whisper another barrel to not have to worry about that gas cloud and just, again, backing off the distance from that Dengar. All right, we're going to go ahead and close the betting here in uh, one more minute. It is still open. Unless Steve thinks Dengar will want to go really fast to try and catch the whisper assuming that steve's gonna run away more if steve actually goes for a decloak towards dengar and then shuttle moves up and coordinates another barrel roll for whisper then you could see that the sideways distance down to dengar is too fast for him to turn in on and get that proton torpedo if whisper can get in there quickly But that would definitely be potentially leaving Whisper alone to deal with that, but can start dancing around Dengar. I'm curious to see where these decloaks go. If you're not familiar with Echo, Echo does use the two bank template in order to do a decloak. Whisper is forced to do the two straight template. They can go forward, left, or right. And of course, using the bank template on Echo, you have that possibility of uh, flipping the template either way. So lots of options in that maneuverability for Echo. Trying to visualize, let's see if we get the two all the way to the back and then another one. I'm trying to think what maneuver makes the most sense. Because Dengar obviously still has the option to bear a roll to not be shot by Whisper. All right, I've closed the betting. We have 57% of, uh, of the bet going towards Andreas. Guri and Dengar. A lot of faith in that uh, Guri moving last. I mean... Oh, wait. He did not... He still needs to decloak with... Did he not decloak Whisper? Might have been on he purpose. He might have chosen not to and to have him stay there. That's what I mean, because if you're going to be coordinated the evade anyway... Just, I mean, we did talk about him trying to... Was he... Uh, he might, have, he might not have cloud. been cloaked last turn. There was not a cloak token out there. Yep, he's trying. It looks like he's trying to take advantage of that gas cloud coverage against the Dengar shot. So that's it's pretty good. That's the type of engagement you want. 
because that becomes a gas cloud stealth device whisper. Uh, Shoot Gurry, me. Shoot me. Gurry just opting for the one straight, not doing any shenanigans. And just a one straight target lock yeah. and see what happens here. Like you said, it will be obstructed. It's unfortunate that uh, Whisper isn't cloaked because that would have been a much better chance of not taking any damage, having uh, five dice. Mm -hmm. There's a the lock movement on to Whisper. No, I, I do think Steve engineered this well. I mean, not a lot of people would just opt to not take a take the cloak back and just say, I like where I am. I want to be behind this gas cloud. Guri's not very threatening right now at all. There's the Han Gunner trigger. Has a focus. Mm -hmm. And that is obstructed through the cloud. So has a focus, has an evade, and... A, uh, a force. Yeah, Got the gas cloud. Probably only taking one damage here. And why is it four dice? Am I missing something? Uh, stealth device. Ah, the stealth. Yes, the stealthy. So yes, four dice. Yeah, he's. It's gonna be four on four with the gas cloud and all those tokens. We're gonna have to see what the dice do because both are very mod, very much modded. Uh, oh. That allows him to keep a target lock, which is a big deal. Huge. So that's gonna be two hits, two crits. Oof. Well, gas. Cloud. No gas cloud and evade token and the force. You're fine. I, yeah, I would just I would spend the evade. Just take nothing. You can use Palpatine's force. Just spend the evade. Yeah, yep. it's better just to not take damage. Yep, and then just shoot Guri, right? Yep. Like even if you don't get shot, the the odds of Guri getting damage back at that whisper are very low. Even that Guri has stealth device, right? He, yeah. Guri just has a single force, essentially. I mean, yeah, you'd like to do a damage. Oh, uh, that's very possible. He's got force. Yeah, you got fifth brother. He only brother. needs focus for one more defense. He used the palp force already. And flips it. That's, that's going to be, be three crit. hits. Yeah. That, that's that's real. Oh, need to roll one more because of five, but... Went away. See, you will have to spend it defensively. You won't have any mods on offense. No, I, I mean, we'll have to see what happens with this Gurry shot, but overall, I think this was a very well engineered first engagement for Steven to mitigate the incoming Dengar damage. Shit, hit Gurry crit. Natties. Okay. <laughs> I'm the Viper. Uh, oh oof. well. Oh Ouch. my! <laughs> down Why? the one. Uh, I mean, down the to hole here. Oof! Half points oh. given up, and that's a crit. Save a power regulator. God, that feels so bad. That opening engagement, not fun. But like I said, everything was going fine, and then a uh, variant swing occurred. Everything is going according to plan. Oh no. <laughs> Man. Oh. <sighs> the Whisper can't recloak. So she's there. Yep. She's there and will be ionized the following turn if she survives. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're in a situation like this, it you end up being forced to be aggressive, right? You kind of have to bring Echo in now. Yeah, and I'm I, I kind of ex I, I expect her to come in. That's, I mean, whis whisper, whisper did the job up until uh, the Gurry shot. Yeah, like exactly what needed to happen. 
and then and then that happened uh stealth device is gone that charge would be flipped all right i need to step away one more time nick nicholas don't worry the menu is disabled i can't even see it. it's not even there i'll be right back okay everything will be here when you get back oh ryan and ionized whisper if, if she's still alive that's just yeah rough it's well it's it's less about what the card is i think it's more about like sure whisper both shots the way how it went like probably ends up taking one damage after all that like yeah you had all the mods against dengar guri with five defense dice might not need to spend that calculate would have had better dice coming back but how it rolled out um feels pretty bad that whisper yeah. took that four, much damage four blanks there it's that's that's rough and like we were talking about with the investment of stealth device stealth device is gone i mean that was the first thing that happened that he takes the damage the stealth device is gone and now you're dealing with getting ionized you're dealing with being halved you got two two hull left mm -hmm. and your other two pieces are a phantom another phantom with just two agility and a shuttle <laughs> and yeah. that piece is there purely for the palpatine support not really going to be it's going to be tough to get guri and arc i'm really curious to see what guri starts to do here as we get closer yeah. to the board it and it was still up to the situation that as even though as well as steven engineered this turn to get whisper to take the least amount of damage possible it's still getting to the point where he actually can get guri or dengar and a point to win the game right like you still need to get to that right um so it, it definitely was not going to be an easy task if Whisper took minimal, if no damage at all, even after this turn. Like it's, it still required much more of Steven uh, past just what we've seen so far. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Curry doesn't take a shot. The you know the remaining the remaining of the game, the remainder of the game, but we still have plenty of time left. This is all yeah. happening so fast. So. And granted, um, I think it's less of whether or not she takes a shot is it does she take a meaningful shot? Yeah, right. Like, the shuttle might have Guri, but at range three through a gas cloud. Yeah, and Guri's got stealth device, got the mods. So, oh, you know. Echo went well, way down know. the board. I don't know. He's probably playing the long game, but he better hope, like, Whisper has to find a way to live here. Were you thinking of a decloak up? like a banking up towards the gas cloud, getting closer to the top of the board there? Or what were you expecting to see maybe? Well, w Echo Whisper there? couldn't decloak. She had to spend right. the made token. Oh, which for was... Echo though, because Echo decloaked, right? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of expecting the two bank decloak, like maybe through the cloud. Right, with Just to detector, get yeah. Echo in a good spot. I mean, yeah, he's going to have this potential trick shot incoming, but I mean, with, with the Guri stealth device, it's just very well mitigated. Right. He might have had the fear of if he had decloaked through the gas cloud, he might have the fear that Guri would have gotten a little too close to harass him. Mm hmm. So keeping your distance. No, nothing is broken, and everything is fine. <laughs> so a very aggressive 4K for whisper and it might be the case of well he's assuming that guri did a fast maneuver to get in there quick and dengar got the bump there for guri yeah guri just takes the bump i mean guri's not in any position to need to readjust for anything oh and dengar lands that means dengar is gonna have a range one shot with that side turret that's three dice target lock focus yeah. He just takes the focus. Interesting, because he could have used Han for a more mod. Oh no, he doesn't. He didn't spend the lock. Whisper should still have it on her. It's it's there. It's underneath the force. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Yep. Dengar three on two. And that's going to be Oof. hit, hit, crit after spending the focus from Han. Uh, or not, sorry, pain. not from Han. It's just a normal focus. 
Oh, that's dead whisper. Hit crit oh, no. whisper gone. Well. Yeah, with no damage done on any of the opposing ships for Whisper, that's... Oof. Man. Well, I, I think all Steve can do is just start pouring damage into Dengar right now. Agreed. You're not catching Guri. Like, it's sad to say that this early, but this game's probably over. Um... Well, Echo the, the, and that shuttle just just have to get as much damage and kill Dengar, and just get MOV. It's the biggest issue is the fact that you know you don't not having Whisper there. You were hoping to have basically a two pronged attack, right? With that decloaking that allows you to move side to side, kind of give some some target confusion. And um, but now, now you did. Mhm. Mm uh, the shuttle does have the palp. Um, yep. so I'm assuming just try and shoot Dengar, uh, his return fire might have an auto blaster. Uh, but at this point I'm not overly concerned about, I wouldn't be overly concerned about that. You just needed to start doing some damage. And that's pretty sad though. Oh, this is going into Guri? I guess he has to try and swing for the fences, but... Not gonna happen. Nothing. And late, well, because Dengar did have the gas cloud, so... Yep. Alright, Echo. What you gonna do? So, I think we might see Echo do a... Two bank decloak forward to the right and then hard turn back in because that starts to actually get behind Guri uh -huh. and puts uh, puts Echo on the opposite side of Dengar to, to another flank so you got the shuttle who's probably going to do a one straight and if Dengar does a hard turn in which he I mean he could do but he's pointing towards the board edge um he could then lock throw the last proton torpedo which would definitely really hurt echo but that turn with dengar depending on where guri wants to go if guri wants to respond to that echo would be limited on how they could get there mm -hmm. All right, where are we gonna go, man? I mean, now, now, you, this is a situation where you're just you're leaning in the variance for for Steven. Yeah. I mean, at least the shuttle does does have a three dice gun. Like you have a chance. Yep, and the shuttle's in a solid position to at least do some real damage next turn to Dengar. That's what you need. See where Echo wants to go. That's, I mean, the hard turn. Three turn. Yeah. Three hard turn. One hard turn. Yeah. I'm just wondering if he's being too cagey. Like you need to start getting damage in, or this is going to be a, uh, a, a a no points game. Yeah. I mean, having that situation where you're just like pick, you're picking off one ship at a time is best case scenario for Andreas. Yep. One hard. Keeps distance. Guri decides to do. Guri has yet to use advanced sensors. Guri does a has a hard one dialed in. Which doing any advanced sensor shenanigans like towards Echo wouldn't do anything. So he's doing out that direction and probably just bumping into Dengar just to not be shot. Oh no, that one turn makes it past. Which actually. That shuttle currently has a shot on Naguri. There you go. So, I mean, Dengar is the shot you want, but 
Oh, that's the range three bubble for Curry. Target lock that's check. The, that's the wrong bubble. He's trying to measure lock from Dengar, I assume. I think he just realized that. Yeah, yeah. there he goes. <laughs> now we have a proton torpedo. Yeah. And that's going to be Han Gunner, so that'll be most likely four coming at Echo. We got to see what the dice say. Gurry, no, no mods. Here comes the proton torpedo. No stealth device on this one. And no obstruction, so this one is probably going to do at least two. Here we go. And that's no need to spend the lock two Jeez. hits two crits Oof. and yeah not spending that lock is fantastic for dengar who you is re ready ready for uh actually you know what that doesn't matter anymore he's out of proton torpedoes ah uh, this is true two blanks Although two blanks oh no two shields a crit and, the, and a crit and the crit oh, is yeah, he spent it hull breach so next two damage are going to be face up. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, you may as well. You can shoot a Dengar freely. He doesn't have return fire. Because the the, uh, the Arcus point to the side and the uh, auto blasters are only out to range two. Mm -hmm. Which would that mean he's getting outmaneuvered right now? Uh, no, that's no tri because he you're trick shot. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll maneuver his whisper. Two, Two hits. Dengar doesn't have a focus modifier, so there'll just be three naked dice. Hey, there's some damage. We've hit something. See, Dengar would require three more to be halved, which from the shuttle is highly possible. Shuttle does have a focus too. There it is. Ooh, oh, I thought it was gonna be four for a second. So three I hits. Know. It's like, oh well, Dengar doesn't have any defensive modifiers, so uh, we'll have to see what happens. Uh he will avoid being halved for now. But that shuttle is directly behind him, so I assume that shuttle will just one straight, keep the dial open for next turn, and just let the front arc with Palpatine do its work. Uh, Echo does not have a cloak token, so... No cloak because he had to spend the evade early. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this... Um... If I were Echo, I mean, it feels bad because you want to shoot at stuff, but I might two or three turn right in front of that gas cloud and just take a focus. <laughs> Give yourself a chance. Or I mean, yeah, you want to take evades because you want to cloak again, but um, Dengar is out of proton torpedoes. And I wonder if that's something that um, Andreas does as a strategy. You don't ever commit Guri to a range one until Dengar... It, uh, until Dengar has given you a favorable matchup mm -hmm. like already for the rest of the game because we haven't seen that yet he hasn't done like yeah he had the three bank I think a turn or two ago but didn't try to make himself get there with advanced sensors he just like all right you know I'm not being shot we're just gonna go over here and we'll, we'll wait again we'll wait again we'll wait again Guri for as much of as many points that are invested in Guri right now very um, cagey he hasn't yet yeah, he's being cagey and making sure that when he gets the because I, I get a pretty good feeling that this is the turn where he just decides, all right, Guri, go finish Echo, go pounce on Echo, because Dengar doesn't have the firepower to do that. 104 right points of oomph coming your way. And yeah, and Guri has a lot of options. Obviously, the funky barrel rolls and you know, advanced sensor boosts as well. Mm-hmm. Now, Guri did bump a while ago, so Guri's a little bit off kilter, so we'll have to see how good Andreas' eyes are on those bank 
those bank uh, barrel rolls, the boosts on advanced sensors, and then the maneuver to take him where, wherever he needs to go. Now, for anybody who's watching, if this game does end early, which it seems to be going that way, um, we have uh, some giveaways we're going to be doing afterwards, as well as some other side mini games that we had planned already for in between round three and four. We just get to uh, maybe do an extra round of marbles, um, which is super fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Super fun to play. And ooh. He has collision detector. Oh, the detect. I detect that but, I am but, fine. But you know the sad part about that is, like, his corner's peeking out the bottom there and technically a little bit out that little uh, concave section right now. So mm -hmm. depending on where the arc of his enemy ships are, that might not end up coming into play. We'll go ahead Taking and... Taking the cloak token, counting on Palpatine to help keep Echo alive. There's the sad echo. Yep. To both corners, not obstructed if on the right angle. Yep. Shuttle just one straight. So I think uh, Andreas is just trying to figure out uh, how are you getting there, Guri? Yeah. Just decide to take the one turn. And it'll probably just barrel roll outside of the shuttle's arc and just get to range one that way. Corga there it is. Corganus uh, 74A was asking, can we just go watch another table? We could potentially, the, the there's some issues with the setup that that causes, which is why um, I'm not not going to. Oh, Dengar bumps. Ah, Dengar tried the 4K. Got greedy. Uh, but like I mentioned before, unfortunately, Echo has that little corner peeking out of that gas cloud. So Guri shot on Echo, assuming it's going to, into Echo, is going to be unobstructed. Uh, was Dengar stressed before that? Yeah, he had to use contraband on that to not do a white two straight. Yep, so double stress now. That could be a problem. I mean, realistically, you probably should have just revealed, like, it's kind of gamey, right? But you don't use contraband and you should just take the white two straight. It's going to be the same result anyway. Yep. And you wouldn't end with two stress, you'd end with one. Uh, but I guess you could you do it for Han so he has it defensively I guess <laughs> and it is focus, oh, focus rotate action and can rotate afterward that's true changed it to the right focus rotate and might have a shot in the shuttle yep sure does and it is at range two Two hits. There we no go. Odds needed. Uh, shuttle just take two. Pretty sure his palp token should be flipped back up. I don't know why it's down right now. Nothing else would have triggered it, and it's a must for it to be charged. Yep. Go ahead and get that fixed. Wouldn't be a bad idea to pour on damage onto the shuttle right now. I mean, yeah, you want to try and finish off Echo, but uh, you could get half on the shuttle. Yeah, right now, just just take get get that space cow out of the way so you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And it is it is obstructed. No, it's not. No, not obstructed to Echo. It's just range three. Yeah, that little corner. Gurry going to Echo. It's got the focus. No one's returning fire, so you may as well spend it. 
against four with the cloak and palp uh this is where he wants to force the palp spend uh safe anyway no problem So we'll likely see the shuttle try and get that half points on the Dengar Does here. Does Gurry have outmaneuver? Yes. So did you roll too many? I don't know if that was range three. Blue player, blue player. Let's see. Rolled Echo was at range three, dice. so they're right. They did it right. Dengar survives above half currently. And looking at our uh, our poll here, we'll go ahead and pull up those statistics. We did have a pretty heavy favorite on player one side. We have 52,000 points that were put into the uh, the pot, which would be split between the winners. Thank you to everybody who participates in that. So just a, a fun way for you guys to uh, have a little skin in the game, a little pretend skin, because really uh, there's no monetary value. It's just fun value, which if you haven't yet, did you know that you can use your points? You can spend them on on-screen rewards. Um, if you have some points available, somebody go ahead and type exclamation point redeem. You put a space and go ahead and write defender. You'll see something cool pop up on the screen. And there's a list of uh, things that you guys can redeem by typing exclamation point loyalty. And you'll see the list that we have available. So Dengar has four stress and no way to get actions for many turns. Um, he does not have to go through the gas cloud. Um, I guess the question is, obviously his left maneuvers are easier to do than his right maneuvers. Um, so we have to assume he's going to try and do a left turn here because I don't believe he starts one bank in his way around the right that he'll make that before going off the board. So uh, the shuttle probably just does another one straight, just gets in Guri's way of attempting to do shenanigans. What do we think about a um, stop for the shuttle? I don't think it's necessary. I mean, granted, it does force... It, it is more likely Guri stays in, in arc than getting around the shuttle. Um, but I think if the shuttle doesn't go straight, it makes the job for Guri easier to get to Echo. We'll see what Echo does here. I actually wouldn't be surprised if he does a decloak. Let's see, he's probably gonna KG and go back. But there, there is, there is a reason to potentially making the, uh, attempt to if you close on guri more and get behind her easier it's harder for her to get to you so turning away gotta go ahead and use that back arc instead i don't know that kind of takes it out of the fight yeah you're not uh, unless echo yeah echo's going that way to just shoot a dengar which isn't a bad choice and i guess that that gas cloud probably inhibits the gurry's capability at least a little bit that he's still got bank barrel options mm, i don't think that gurry's gonna make that shot no seems just a bit outside oh Getting around though, starting hunting. And that should be parallel, so Steve will be able to choose the unobstructed to shoot a Dengar. I 
I still think that's outside, even after the boost. Yep, so unobstructed. Three on two. Oh, he's choosing the obstructed for trick shot. Interesting. Yep, get that fourth dice. Yeah, I just, man, that, that gas cloud gives you so much. Hit, hit, crit. Gas yeah, cloud. Still, that's one damage. That's enough to get half. Steven has points. Points on the board. <laughs> yeah, 114 to 43. Omicron group pilot has a shot here. Gurry does have a focus. This will be two on three at range two. Oh, and no, sir. Two on four. Two stealth on four, the stealth. <laughs> yeah, with only one hit, that's not going to be doing anything. Nope. We would have had to see an all blank out like Whisper had did earlier this game. <laughs> Uh, we, Sad. We, we've reached that very small percentage already. He will not come around for a while again. Oh, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We've seen crazy things before. So the shuttle's in a weird spot. You can't exactly turn on Dengar without putting yourself in a potential chance to run yourself off the board. I mean, between Echo and the shuttle, you can get in a position to eventually finish Dengar off, but... And I... That... Oh, something happened. Looks like we may have lost a dial, so... Yep. Steve's just reassigning some dials. Yep, and th that's why we always bring extras. It looks like he just spawned extras. Oh. He didn't bring it. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Well. It looks like he was very quickly prepared, though. Because of where Guri is, though, I think Echo does have a really good decloak um, to stay on Dengar in towards Guri. Echo can probably decloak up left behind the shuttle and then one bank down towards Dengar. Yeah, I mean, with all those stress tokens, what is he? He still, he still has three, four. And Dengar's yep. not turning around anytime soon. It can't get that arc back on. Um, yep. And that's why I was really wondering why Steve went with the one bank on the shuttle. Because it just doesn't set him up well in future turns. I guess he can stop now. <laughs> I think you have to, right? Yeah, get that. Get the. Because other, otherwise, front arc the on. shuttle's getting ahead of Dengar, and that's not what you want. You want the shuttle, shuttle's arc to be behind Dengar as much as possible. All right, well, it looks like he's going to the left. Yes. Ah, I, I wasn't sure if that was going to fit, but I do like that one as well. Because then you can just one, two, or three turn into Dengar. He did do the zero. Yep, that's what you have to do at this point. And then one turn there. Take the focus. And I think Guri's only way is advance. If, if Guri did a one turn... And you barrel roll down. Fancy moves. That's scary. <laughs> Out maneuver. Oh boy. Yup. Yep, there's the one turn. Dengar will have auto blasters on the shuttle. Yep, that'll be three dice because that range one. Mm hmm. Oh, this could be bad. We could see Echo go this turn pretty easily. Shuttle Dengar, versus the world. Two, two hits. Two for two. Rolling the one. And Palpatine should save him unless he wants to save it for. Nah, you save that for offense. Yep. So all shields are down. Nope, that should be one defense dice. 
Let's outmaneuver. Sorry, Steve. Four on one. That's four That's hits. It's a straight dead. Uh, outmaneuver. That. Oh, it doesn't matter. He yeah, I still did. dodged one. Well, no, it does because he has the evade token. Outmaneuver. Oh, well, nope. That, yeah. Yeah, because even with two, he did full, full four, so. Yeah. Hi. They're all crits because of Hull Breach. Nothing that got any extra cards. Yep. Oh, well. Um. Dengar has four remaining. Let's shuttle, see if you can do a big whammy for some points. <laughs> Get some points and call it. Should have the palp charge. Uh, that's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Dengar just takes one. Dengar shooting back. Shuttle takes one, which is officially half of the shuttle. There's the half points. So we're at 171. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised 43. if Steve might. Yep, Steve. Steve's calling it. That makes sense. Yep. All right. That's it. So it'll be 200 to 43. And they actually they pulled up the dice stats just to take a look.